Let's explain the role and function of network components. Let's start with a router. A router is a layer 3 device used to connect multiple networks together and route packets between them based on IP address. Here are its functions. It makes forwarding decisions using the IP routing table. It also determines the best path to reach a destination network. And it enables inter-network communication. Here are examples of how a router works. A home router connects your home network to the internet. And in a business, a core router connects different branches or departments together. Let's now explain the role and function of a switch. They can be layer 2 and 3 switches. A layer 2 switch works on a data link layer. It forwards data within the same network segment using MAC address. It also creates MAC address tables to learn which devices are on which ports. And it has no routing capability. While a layer 3 switch works on the network layer. It functions like a layer 2 switch, but can also route between VLANs or subnets. And it uses IP routing to move traffic between different networks. For example, a layer 2 office switch connects all computers in the same floor or VLAN. While a layer 3 switch performs inter-VLAN routing between accounting and HR networks. Let's now explain Next Generation Firewalls, or NGFW. But let's have a quick refresher on what a firewall is first. A firewall is a security device, it can be a hardware or software, that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predefined security rules. So what makes a firewall next gen? A next generation firewall combines traditional firewall functions with advanced features to detect, block, and respond to modern threats more intelligently. Here are the core capabilities of a next-generation firewall. It uses Deep Packet Inspection, or DPI, which analyzes the full packet, including headers and payload, and not just the IP and port. There's also application awareness and control. It can identify and control applications, regardless of the port number. It can also allow or block specific app features, like allow YouTube and block uploads. It's also capable of Intrusion Prevention System, or IPS, which detects and blocks known exploits and malicious traffic. It's also capable of integrated threat intelligence, which uses cloud-based services or database to stay updated with real-time threat feeds. It also uses identity-based policies, where policies can be enforced based on users, roles or groups, and not just IP address. And it's also capable of SSL TLS inspection, which can decrypt and inspect encrypted traffic for hidden threats. Next generation firewalls also works across multiple layers of the OSI model. It works on layer 3 and it makes decisions based on IP address, routing, and basic packet filtering like a traditional firewall. It also works on layer 4 where it inspects traffic based on TCP and UDP port numbers. For example, blocking or allowing traffic based on port 443 for HTTPS. And additionally, it also works on layer 7, and this is a big difference from traditional firewalls. Next generation firewalls deeply inspect and control traffic based on the actual application. For example, it can allow Gmail but block YouTube even if both use the same port. Next is IPS or Intrusion Prevention System. IPS monitors network traffic for malicious activity and blocks it in real time. An IPS is typically designed to spot attacks based on Signature, which is well-known and successful attacks that come with a recognizable code or signature. The system knows these markers and when they're spotted in your traffic, reactions begin. And also anomalies. 
The system samples traffic and looks for episodes that seem somehow different or unusual. Anything out of the baseline triggers a response. Let's now explain access points. These are devices that allow wireless capable devices to connect to a wired network using Wi-Fi. An access points function acts as a bridge between wired Ethernet and wireless clients. It also supports different wireless standards like 802.11ac and 802.11ax. There are different types of access points. One is standalone access point, which is managed individually, and a controller-based access point, which is managed by a central wireless LAN controller. Next is controllers. It is a central device or software that manages multiple access points in a wireless network. The controller's function is to configure and update access points, monitor client connections and performance, handle load balancing, roaming, and security policies. Next are endpoints. Endpoints are any device that connects to the network and communicates over it. The types of endpoints are client devices, which are human-driven to send requests to a server and interact with data. For example, laptops, desktops, tablets, and smartphones. There's also Internet of Things devices, which collects data, share it over the internet, and automate tasks, often without needing constant human input. Examples of IoT devices are smart cameras, sensors, thermostats. The endpoint's roles are to generate and consume network traffic and to authenticate to the network, often via DHCP or DNS. Let's now explain servers. A server is a computer system that provides services or resources to other devices or clients on the network. A server's function is to host applications, store files, manage user authentication and they can run Windows Server, Linux, or other operating systems. Examples of the types of servers are File Server, which stores documents, Web Server, which hosts websites, or Email Server, which handles mail delivery. And last for this section is Power Over Ethernet, or PoE. PoE is a technology that allows network cable to carry electrical power in addition to data. The following are the current standards for PoE according to IEEE. And these are examples of devices and the type of PoE that they are required to use. PoE's function is to simplify deployment of devices in hard-to-reach places. It also reduces the need for power outlets near devices. Provide services like file storage, email, web hosting, or authentication to clients. What layers do routers operate at? Controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on security rules. Manages multiple access points, handling client connections, security policies, and load balancing. Connects devices within the network and forwards traffic based on MAC address. Provides wireless connectivity to wired networks.
What layers do next generation firewalls operate at? Allows network cables to carry electrical power in addition to data. A router routes packets between networks based on functions like a layer 2 switch but can also route between VLANs or subnets. monitors network traffic for malicious activity and blocks it in real time. Any device that connects to the network and communicates over it. Combines traditional firewall functions with advanced features to detect, block, and respond to modern threats more intelligently.